now we are defining the term resistance resistance is the property of a material any material we can take in the universe resistance is the property of a material which opposes the flow of current which opposes the flow of electrons through that material so the resistance of this chalk piece is nothing but resistance of this chalk piece is how much it is opposing the flow of current through this chalk piece the resistance of the bench is nothing but how much current the bench is opposing so the resistance is defined as it is the property of a material which opposes the flow of current through that material in every when we observe in the universe in every material we observe the resistance but in some material that resistance may be less and in other materials the resistance may be high when the resistance is high we call that material as an insulator and when the resistance is low we call that material as a conductor according to ohm's law ohm is a german physicist who has formulated this ohm's law he lived in between 1784 to 1854 he formulated a law by relating voltage current and resistance and this ohm's law is applicable only for the conductors so what ohm said if you take a conductor when you apply voltage to this conductor voltage is nothing but the potential difference so i am an applying an voltage with a battery v this is a dc voltage so i am using a capital v because of this potential difference the free electrons in this conductor try to move in a single direction because of movement of these free electrons in single direction we observe the current that is dc current i am denoting it with a capital i now what ohm is saying this current is directly proportional to the voltage you applied if i increase the voltage the current also increases so he mentioned v is directly proportional to i and he gave one constant v is equal to ir and he said this constant r is called as a resistance now the resistance of this material r is equal to v by i what is the voltage you are applying to this material what is the potential difference you are applying this material this potential difference is useful to move a charge from one place to the another place what is the charge here that is moving electron free electron now this voltage or potential difference is useful in making free electrons to move in a single direction because of that we are observing a current so this resistance is the ratio of voltage applied to the material to the current flowing through that material and the units for resistance because ohm ohm has given the relation between v and i and he mentioned v is directly proportional to i v is equal to ir so the resistance of the any material when we want to measure we say what is the resistance of this particular material we use the symbol this is ohm actually this is a symbol of greek letter we are calling this as ohm example if a material example you take this chalk piece is having one mega ohm resistance a very huge amount of resistance a iron material if you take it may it may has 100 ohms resistance depending on the length of material you take that we will discuss in the future topics okay now the resistance of the material is defined as the according to ohm it is defined as voltage we applied to that material and because of that voltage some current is flowing in that material so it is the ratio of voltage applied to the material to the current flowing through that material this resistance we measure whatever we are measuring the resistance to measure this resistance in laboratory we have a voltmeter to measure the voltage what is the voltage we applied and we have an ammeter 
to measure what is the current flowing through that material. So we can finally find what is the resistance in this material. But even though every material is having resistance in this universe, we may not use this stock piece as a resistor in our circuit. So we are specially designing one device which is called as a resistor. What is the special design of this resistor? This device or component we call. Instead of device, we have to use the word component. This component, passive component, we discussed in the last class. So this passive component resistor, it opposes the flow of free electrons. But we know what is the value of resistance in this resistor. I can say there are 100 ohms in this resistor. But I can use this stock piece also now as a resistor, but I do not know what is the resistance in this stock piece. So I want a known value of resistance for my circuit to work. I want to use that. So I am saying take a device that is called as a resistor. We have many resistors in the laboratory. You can see 100 ohms resistors are available, 330 ohms resistors are available, kilo ohms resistors are available, mega ohms resistors are available. For every resistor value, we, we, for every resistor, we are indicating one value, that is resistance. So this resistor is having resistance, there is no doubt. But as we mentioned, in the universe, every material is also having the resistance, but we may not use that resistance. We might not use that resistance, but we can use this resistance.